It's time for Dirt Daily and today I am back at the farm and behind me is the very first vehicle I ever drove. This is an international harvester. Um, back on the farm we would call all the tractors by their numbers. So this was the 574 and this is as fast as it will go in low range first gear. So when I was a little tiny boy my dad put me on this and he was basically said drive this and he had to like go and deliver another tractor up to the barn and then came back and got me and I was petrified I was like this is so scary what if I wreck it and walking around it now I can see that it really wasn't going to go that fast and it was mostly just a loud slow front end loader but I, it's exciting to me that I still our family still has this tractor and the fact that when I was a little kid and I was scared to death of driving really at all, much less driving so slow. And now like whenever I go four wheel on a rock crawling, this is about the same speed that I drive. It's got a big old bucket up here that's been rebuilt multiple times. You can see how the arms have all types of repairs on them in multiple places. But it's pretty cool that we still have it and that it's still as useful as it is on the farm. We were definitely an IH family. Uh, we had a lot of international harvester tractors. Um, I don't know why we never had John Deere's. It was just, these are the tractors that we had all my life, which is also ironic because I kind of became a Jeep guy. I was never a Scout guy, but you would think like, here's the old 200. Uh, we used to use this thing to scrape the manure out of the barn. This was, the 1066, as you can see right there. And that tractor was like the biggest, burliest tractor for doing field work. And then this thing, which is not an international harvester, but we would use this big front end loader, which is the Trojan. And we would use that a lot for pushing dirt around or moving silage. And then here behind me, uh, also not an international harvester, harvester, but a Spearing New Holland. This is a hay bind. We use that too mow hay and make hay for the animals, um, either hay or mow it and then grind it up and make it into silage. So, and silage is kind of this like corn and hay mixture that you would kind of ferment. You've either seen it really tall silos on a lot of farms. Our farm had trench silos, which were like these trenches in the ground. And that's where we would put the silage and then you would scoop it out of there and feed it to the animals. So ironic that I'm a, international harvester guy from birth, but not really a scout guy. I've never actually owned a scout. Um, maybe I need a scout. I like internationals. So there it is, the 574. The very first thing I ever got to drive as a little kid. Scared to death when I did it, but it's kind of turned on something to me because I still like driving stuff. See you guys next time.